Well, like I said, we're going to talk about this in Battery Day, which is probably April. Um, and then a lot of these questions will be answered. I think it's going to be a very compelling story that we have to present. Uh, I think it's going to actually blow people's minds. It uh, blows my mind, and I am clo- uh, you know, I know it. Uh. <laughs> Hi. Welcome to Renewable Energy Investments. Tesla's Battery Day is the single Tesla event to date that I'm the most pumped about. The reason? Batteries permeate Tesla's entire business, and any battery tech competitive advantage will be a boost to each aspect of Tesla's business across the board. From its electric vehicles to energy storage, from ride sharing and insurance to its solar installation bundles with power walls, advances in battery tech is absolutely critical to lowering costs and increasing demand. Not to mention that passing certain energy density thresholds can unlock entirely new products such as electric watercraft and vertical takeoff and landing jets. In this video, we'll run through a checklist of milestones that I'm hoping are achieved at Battery Day, and I'll save the one I'm most pumped about for last. But first, here's another short audio bit from Elon to spark your interests. I mean, we are super deep on cell, super deep, and cell cell through battery, so cell module battery. I mean, Drew, is there anything you want to add? Thanks. Please head. We are super deep. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's a it's a car. <laughs> it's the a rabbit hole. Yeah, rabbit hole goes down pretty far. <laughs> seven days a week. We're, yeah, we're doing seven days a week. Yeah. Battery production. Um, man, do we know a lot about right. batteries? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's jump right into the checklist. First, will Tesla announce the buzz phrase "million mile battery"? Honestly. A 400,000 mile battery is more than sufficient for your everyday customer. But a million mile battery opens the door for Tesla to dominate ride sharing as the competition such as Uber and Lyft would not be able to come anywhere near a Tesla vehicle's cost per mile. If Tesla can get a fleet of hundreds of thousands of million mile taxis on the roads and eventually robo taxis, they could undercut Lyft, Uber and any other taxi-esque service substantially and rack in huge recurring revenue streams. Second, has Tesla reduced the cost of its battery pack to under $100 per pack? $100 per pack is the threshold that many experts believe will make electric vehicles at least as affordable as internal combustion engine vehicles. Achieve the $100 pack and we can wave farewell to internal combustion engine vehicles for good. Third, Can Tesla reduce or eliminate the amount of cobalt used in its batteries? Cobalt is particularly troublesome due to its scarcity expensiveness, but most of all, its mining has been tied to child labor abuses. Fourth, what percentage increase in the energy density of the batteries has Tesla been able to achieve? A denser battery allows for significantly more range using the same sized battery pack, which could eliminate range anxiety for some buyers. Alternatively, Tesla could just get the same juice from a lighter and smaller battery pack, which means it could produce more cars using the same amount of batteries. Ultimately, with a dense enough battery, new products like the vertical takeoff and landing jet and watercraft become feasible. Fifth, has Tesla achieved an increase in the charging speed of its batteries? Obviously, no one enjoys waiting to charge their vehicle, but a faster charging battery could be particularly useful in the upcoming Tesla Semi, which many criticize in favor of hydrogen because of how much quicker it is to refuel hydrogen tanks than to recharge a Semi's battery pack. An increase in charging speed is a big win for the battery electric vehicle long range trucking industry, and even more bad news for one Trevor Milton and Nikola. Quick break to remind everybody to hit that thumbs up button if you're enjoying the video. Sixth. Has Tesla redesigned the pack itself, which holds the batteries? Reducing the size and weight of the shell holding the batteries is sort of low-hanging fruit to increase range by decreasing weight. Seventh, what new chemistries is Tesla using in its batteries? Is it nickel, magnemese, and cobalt? Are there any new additives? Will there be different chemistries for different use batteries? For instance, one chemistry for a long-lasting million-mile battery for use in ride-sharing vehicles, and another for ultra-efficient short-range travel. Perhaps there is even a specific battery chemistry being used in the upcoming Plaid Model X and Model S. Eighth, 
Is Tesla sticking with cylindrical batteries or switching to another form, such as a pouch? If cylindrical, has the size of each battery increased or decreased? Will there be different sizes or forms of batteries for different vehicles? Or will Tesla stick with the one-size-fits-all approach for economies of scale? Ninth, what improvements in the battery manufacturing process has Tesla realized? How has the Maxwell dry coat technology increased not only the quality of the battery, but also the speed which they can be manufactured and decreased the space in the factory needed for manufacturing? What about the high bar acquisition? Has Tesla developed new automated techniques to increase manufacturing efficiency, quality, and speed? How does the nanowire technology that Tesla's teased a few weeks ago come into play here? And what other under-the-radar manufacturing technologies and processes has Tesla discovered? Okay, that brings us to number 10, the one thing above all else that I'm hoping Tesla announces. Will Tesla confirm an extremely rapid and massive ramp in battery production to the terawatt level? The more batteries Tesla announces that it intends on producing as soon as possible, the stronger my inference is that Tesla is extremely confident that its battery technology will be the best around for quite some time. I'm hoping Tesla makes a gigantic investment in battery manufacturing facilities. Remember that $5 billion capital raise that Tesla just completed? Yeah, let's put that cash to work. I want to see Tesla make more batteries than it alone can use, at least in its North American factories. So many batteries that Tesla becomes a battery supplier, perhaps to non-competing businesses like electric scooters, skateboards, or watercraft. And this will not be easy. Giga Austin will be a massive factory and will manufacture a whole lot of battery hogs, such as the Tesla Semi and the Cybertruck. But more importantly, I expect demand for Tesla's power pack and mega packs to be as gigantic as the packs themselves. Oh, and with this magnitude of battery production, economies of scale would make it impossible for competitors to achieve price parity. Remember when Tesla and Panasonic announced Gigafactory Nevada? the largest battery factory in the world? Yeah, I'm hoping that thing looks like a joke. Okay, let me know in that comment section below, what are you most pumped for Tesla to reveal in Battery Investor Day? Did I overlook anything in my short list of 10 things? I'm certainly pumped. I can't wait to get a look at this secret Roadrunner project. Grab your popcorn. This one should be exciting. For more Tesla, electric vehicle, and renewable energy content, consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.